All right, so happy Wednesday, everybody. As usual, Living Well Now is here with a Wednesday evening class for you to um, use the information, share the information, um, expand your knowledge of products that are currently available on the market and what you can do better to ditch and switch some of those products that you have been uh, grown accustomed to using. Um, I learned Gosh, how many years has it been, Sarah, that you've been in our lives? 10 12. years? 12 years ago? Gosh, <laughs> about, I'm so 12. old. 12 <laughs> years ago that Sarah came into our lives as the most beautiful woman I think I'd ever seen. Aww. And I was still in the homely stages of my life where Andrea wanted to give me a makeover, I think, every time we were together. So Sarah has <laughs> helped, helped me emerge in my 40s um, with better skin, better ways of accentuating natural beauty, um, mostly due to um, just taking really good care of our mm -hmm. skin. Sarah's going to tell you more about her, um, her expertise in this area, but just from a personal standpoint, it's really awesome when women can uphold mm -hmm. each other mm -hmm. um, and see their beauty from within um, and just help bring that out mm -hmm. in really in really amazing ways. I didn't show you the flashback photo that I had this morning. No. I'll have to show you okay, later. You should pull it up later. We, we've grown a lot. <laughs> we've grown a lot. And uh, we use filters now. But more than that, <laughs> But more than that, um, I, I just really noticed a difference in mm -hmm. my skin changing mm -hmm. um, because of using Young Living products more regularly, because of being aware of what I'm putting on my skin, mm -hmm. you know, extra water that I'm staying hydrated mm -hmm. with. And I know you're going to give us some lifestyle tips mm -hmm. along with the yeah. skincare we're going to talk about tonight. So without further ado, my beautiful sister in love, Sarah Leone, um, coming to you tonight all about natural skincare. Cool. Hi, everybody. Thanks for being here. Um, I'll just give like a 30 second spiel about myself and why I feel semi qualified to teach this class. <laughs> um, and then we'll move on to different skin types and all of that stuff. I'm going to ask you guys some questions um, and help you out. So um, I was a former makeup artist and also licensed cosmetologist. And I've done makeup for all sorts of events from wedding events to fashion photo shoots and for magazines and different things. So one thing that I noticed in all of my years of being a former makeup artist was that skincare really matters and it can make all the difference. I think we all know and how our makeup looks and how every, how everything else looks. And a big portion of that is obviously lifestyle is hydration um, and gut health, which I'll talk just a little bit about. And then also products. I, I've seen so many products over the years just use so many different synthetic chemicals and they are great temporarily, but in the long run, they can cause a lot of different issues from hormone issues to breathing, respiratory issues and things and um, skin issues and things like that. So um, I feel very passionate about using natural skincare products, natural makeup, specifically Young Living's line, and um, not just the skincare, but the, the Young Living um, Savvy makeup, I'm obsessed with, especially the liquid foundations and concealers. I'll talk a little bit about that today, but just from uh, being a makeup artist, it's a great line. It's so buildable. I absolutely love it. So if you want to learn more about that, um, I think we have some recorded uh, Savvy Minerals makeup classes on YouTube that whoever invited you here could send you specifics for uh, that class. Okay, so we're going to move on. And first, we're going to do some, we're going to do about four giveaways. And Aaron's going to pick the winners. Um, oh, I'm Aaron's wife, by the way. Just in, in, a lot of you know Aaron. He's the worthy of wellness on, on here. Oh, dude, I didn't even say I'm Angela. Oh, yeah. And Aaron, Angela. Aaron's literally in the room next to us, but we had to shut both doors so that we didn't hear each other. So just so, just so you know how our setup here, um, all and, in the family. Yeah. So I'm going to do some giveaway questions. We're going to start with the first one and it's what type of skin do you have? So is it oily? Is it dry? Is it combination, et cetera? Um, what kind of skin type do you have? Oh, good. We're getting some good responses. Yep. Okay. I'm seeing oily mix, oily to combo, sensitive dry combo. Okay. We got, we have a good, we have a good mixture here. I'm not even sure normal. Okay. 
So usually how I would just categorize, you know, if you have combo skin, you may get oily in certain locations and dry in other locations, that would be combo skin. If you tend to get really dry on your eyelids and things like that, typically you have dry skin, so you need more moisture. And then oily, I mean, you can tell if you have pretty oily skin. Usually if you put eyeshadow on, it comes off within like 30 minutes. Um, Okay, so Erin, you're gonna pick a winner. I think we have most people commented. Okay, so we're gonna go on and teach and then when okay. we ask our second question, then he'll, he'll announce pick a winner. the first one. Okay, sounds good. Um, all right, so we're gonna move on to a little PowerPoint that we have. So behind the scenes, this comes from Grow Workspace. So you can purchase a subscription and get this uh, same presentation if you want to share it. Um, but do know that their recipes and things come from them. We'll add on some modifications yeah. and show you some other things as well. Oh, wait, I didn't want to do that one. Hold on. Stop. So go too fast. We're going to do it this way. View full screen. Okay. Awesome. So, um, so again, one thing that I love about just Young Living is that all of the products are pure. We know where the ingredients come from. Young Living has a lot of their own farms and partner farms. Um, so I feel really good about the quality of their oils and skincare products and all of their products. And it's fun if you ever get the chance to go to one of Young Living's beauty school events that they have, I'd highly recommend it. It was such an amazing event. Even for me, I thought because, oh, I was a former makeup artist and I have all of this knowledge. I thought, oh, I know this stuff. I don't have to go to this. But I learned so much at that event about skincare. They showed so many different before and after pictures of using the products for, I don't think I can say this, sun damage and things like that. You know, it just incredible and just really expanded my mind a lot about what these products could do. Okay. Okay, so again, everybody's skin is different. So you can do a little test, you know, on your wrist or something like that to just make sure that you don't have a reaction. Um, certain products you may be more sensitive to and other products you may feel like they're great. I have found, um, I've only been sensitive to one Young Living product throughout my time and all, most people do great with it. So. Um, it's really about what works for you and, you know, test it out and see. Okay. So number one, I think the biggest skincare tip, which the majority of us know is using sunscreen. Uh, this is one that I really wish that I had learned a bit younger. Um, but I love Young Living's mineral sunscreen. It's, they have a, uh, I think they sell the 10, right? And then they have this 50 SPF one as well. And it's amazing. It's a mineral sunscreen, doesn't have any uh, uh, synthetic ingredients in it or anything like that. Also washing your face before you go to sleep. Definitely those of us who like to party or party back in the day sometimes that, didn't always happen, um, but you know, that's why we have all these products now to recover. Okay, cool, thank you. All right, so what's your skin type? And so we went through this, normal would be firm, supple, dry. I would say my, my skin looks really glowy right now, but I have very dry skin. So if I don't put, <clears throat> if I don't put any uh, oils on it or any of these products, it looks, it can look scaly <laughs> in certain areas. Uh, oily, you typically have larger pores, uh, you tend to develop blemishes uh, a little easier. You might've had acne growing up. Um, combination, again, it's just a mixture of both. And mature skin, it can lose some elasticity, collagen, stuff like that. But I'm gonna give you some tips to help with that. All right, this is just a good skincare routine. And please um, feel free to take pictures of some of these slides. I'm gonna go over like specific um, products that you can use for each skin types in just a few moments. So you can, I just recommend take pictures of those, of those slides so that you have them for yourself or take notes. <clears throat> but this is a basic skincare routine that you can use every day. Cleanse, exfoliate, tone, restore moisture, and then 
you can add some other extra products that are more luxurious to refine and pamper. Okay, this is a DIY cleanser, which I find very interesting and I haven't tried. So I, I, can't, I can't vouch for it, but I'm sure it's great. Um, you can just simply read the directions on the side, but I have made um, cleansers before with apple cider vinegar with all these ingredients except the plum. So you have to let me know how the plum goes. Um, it's really just for like some sort of a little scrub that's in there. Um, but I can tell you, I've made a face mask too with um, two tablespoons of honey and three drops of lavender before. And that is incredible. A honey is so good for the face, just with helping with um, evening out the skin tone and sunspots and things like that. So what you do with that is you leave the honey with the lavender on for about 10 minutes and then you wash it off with warm water and your face is like baby soft. It's amazing. So I love doing that face mask. It's awesome. That's so cool. Yeah. I've never tried that before. Oh, it's great. It's And it's so easy. It's yeah. literally just a couple tablespoons of honey and lavender, which is great for redness on the skin. Or you can eat it. Can you eat it after? I mean, it's honey with lavender. I know. It's Why not? It would be delicious. Okay, we could go to the next one. Well, I want to point out, I okay. don't know if you're going to go through products because we brought some of the I products will in with a few us. Moments. Okay. All yeah. right. So these are some of the cleanser <laughs> products that are on there. Okay, so we have expo. Oh, yeah, let's go back. I will talk about that. Okay. So these Young Living has a few different cleansers, different ones for different skin types. So I'll start off with the Art Gentle Cleanser, and you use this too, right? Yes. Uh, I don't use this one as much. Okay. I've been mostly using the Bloom Cleanser okay. and then Orange Blossom. Okay, which is, this is great for us to talk about yeah. this because you have more combination skin, yes. you would say, yes. and I have very dry skin. So I have dry skin. I love this cleanser. I love the whole art line. And anyone I've talked to with pretty dry skin, they tend to like the art uh, skincare line. <clears throat> and now talk about combination skin, what you use. So I, um, when Bloom came out in the summer at mm -hmm. convention, um, I was really interested in the second step, which is a lightening, um, a, a lightening serum, okay. um, because of my, so when you were talking about honey being more, yeah. uh, being good for kind of, uh, uh, changing because I, I have dark evening skin tone. yeah evening skin tone yeah. yeah um I was I was like oh I should try that because I really like the lightning for that yeah. and bloom has been really great for me I will say it hasn't been great for every skin type mm -hmm. so so if you find that it's not working for you definitely find somebody else in your life who might have a different type of skin mm -hmm. tone and gift it to them because um because life's too short to use products that don't work I yep. mean I think about as a teenager yep. I thought those really uh those really harsh chemical products yeah. that made my face tingle yeah were supposed to be really um I'm good for it. Yeah. And it wasn't, I, it right. actually made my skin very red and very dry. Yeah. Um, and, and it was, and it exacerbated a situation mm -hmm. of, of teenage yeah. acne. Yeah. Um, but I, but I'll go back and forth. Like I'll put orange blossom is in my shower mm -hmm. so I can just wash mm -hmm. quickly in the shower and then bloom is at my, at my sink. Yeah. yeah. So it's a different level of, and it's very, actually the bloom is great. I find it very, um, nur like nourishing, moisturizing yeah. to yeah. my skin. Awesome. Yeah. So I would say the bloom is really good for combo skin. And I've heard, I've used the orange blossom facial wash, which I like, but I prefer the art gentle cleanser for dry skin. The orange blossom one, I've heard great things for people with oily skin mm -hmm. and same with the charcoal bar. So yeah. actually the charcoal bar soap, I really feel like it's good for a lot of different skin types. I've used it. My friend who is very oily skin loves it. I, I had a friend it, who used so. it on her son for acne prone skin back on his back. So that was very, very effective okay. for him cool. as well. Not, I, I, as well. Not, I, um, I also would say too, um, or are we on mute right now? No, that's my mom. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I would also say too, that, uh, in terms of cleanser, mm. I love when we travel together, mm -hmm. how simple you make cleansing too. Like oh, it yeah. does, you also, if you don't have these products, our thieves soaps, our bar soap, yeah. our pump, like yes. tell about that. Okay. So when I try, so actually I wrote a book called traveling in essential oils and it has 
exactly what I bring on my travels with me for skincare. And I tend to keep it really basic when I travel. So just so you know, like you can use this line, which I think is great for everyday use, but if you're traveling and you just need like a couple simple things, lemon sandalwood bar soap is amazing. It's charcoal bar soap is great for cleansing the skin and super simple, easy to travel with. Um, also the thieves foaming hand soap. Sometimes if that's in my bathroom and I can't find my cleanser somewhere in the drawer, I just take the thieves foaming hand soap. And a couple of people who have more oily skin and they're te they tend to break out on our, um, on our, in our community, they've said that it's actually really helped their blemishes and things like that. The thieves foaming hand soap. So, so something is better than nothing. Yeah. I mean, is that safe to say? Well, yeah. And you think about the oils, how powerful these oils that are in all of these products, including the thieves foaming hand soap. It's like, so it's good. It's good for the whole body, right? Like yeah. I just, I love that. Yeah. Okay. We can Super move on Super versatile. Now. All the cleansing. Hey, I was going to add in if oh, I can. Okay. This, this is Andre Andrea. I'm driving. So I didn't want to have the, uh, the video on. Sorry. No worries. Um, I was just going to add in that I'm one that's in love with bloom and I do have oily skin and it has really helped with acne. So anybody who's dealing with acne, adult acne, um, Bloom may be one to try. I just wanted to throw my opinion in there. Yay! <laughs> Thank, Thank you. All right. Exfoliating. Okay, exfoliating. So uh, the satin facial scrub. Um, this is really great for all the different skin types. And the scrub is something you, I think you only really want to use once or twice a week because you don't want to be constantly exfoliating your skin, exposing it, and then going out in the sun and stuff like that. So it removes layers of dead skin cells, draws impurities from the skin, and minimizes the appearance of pores and things like that. And just gives you this really nice rejuvenated feeling. So I love this. I know so many people who feel like this is just great. It wakes their skin up, wakes them up in the morning. So it's awesome. Anything you could say about in that? In my shower. So this is in my shower. Mm -hmm. So like you said, twice a week, I usually remember once a week maybe to do the fat, the satin facial scrub. Um, and, it, and, and then my skin is already wet. Mm -hmm. And so then I'm just using it. Because again, that was something else that I was taught as a teenager was let's rub harsh peach or apricot, you know, seed shells against yeah. your skin and that's going to make it better. And it didn't. Right. So these are, um, just tiny little, tiny little bead like, uh, pieces that just kind of gently soften, mm -hmm. softly, um, massage your skin. And, and like you said, one or tw two times a week, mm -hmm. I'll do that. And then I do a full toner and a full moisturizer yeah. to help kind of, um, re rejuvenate my skin. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. We can go on to the next one. And I'm going to throw out a second question, Aaron. So do you want to pick, um, yep. She, I, he's got a first winner. So. Okay. Will you throw out the first winner, Aaron, and then I'll do the question. Yes. Yes. Oh. Winner number one of a $20 product credit is Pam Terry. And I will post the, uh, Google doc in the comments or in the chat box. And you'll just fill that out real quickly. And, um, and then we'll make sure we get that to you here in the coming days. Yay. Cool. All right. Second awesome. question. Okay, great. The second question is what's your favorite YL skincare product already and why? I want to know the why and I'd love other people to see the why in the comments because maybe somebody can relate to you and it could help them. So what's your favorite YL skincare product already and why? Oh my God. So what happened to my... What happened to my presentation? Okay, we'll be, we're just pulling up the presentation again. It's around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. <laughs> How do I get it? All right, thank you for your patience. We are, we're doing just fine here. <laughs> Technical difficulties. <laughs> just takes a minute, disappears. Okay, toning. Awesome. Okay. I love this toner. So again, right, we're starting with a cleanser, really simple, or the bar soap, like we mentioned. Um, and then we're going to toning and this makes uh, your pores appear smaller and it just helps the appearance of more toned skin, kind of tightens it a little bit. Um, you can put this on a cotton ball or a cotton pad and just kind of pat your face. You don't want to really rub on your face. It's so just nice pats. And that goes on with, uh, with makeup too. I'd recommend the same thing. A lot of people will like do this with makeup. 
and you really want to take care of your skin and kind of pat it on. Okay, we'll go on to the I next hope you one. can see Sarah doing this. That's such a good tip. I'm <laughs> such a scrub my face girl. So that's super helpful. And, and I've also known you to do more with fingertips than having to use cotton even, like with an art cleanser or an art toner. Yeah, I use my hands a lot. I mean, and that's also because I have dry skin too. So I like that the natural oils from my fingertips are going on my face. And that was part of how, when I did makeup too, I applied with brushes, but also with my well-washed hands as well, because your hands give that really, the oils from your skin give a really nice glow to your face. So use your fingers. Oh, um, so the inventor of NARS Cosmetics uh, really promoted using fingers, like using your fingers to put on makeup and getting that really like, earthy feel. Wow. <laughs> a little interesting, That's but so cool. a little different. All right. Okay. Restoring. I have to, I am obsessed with this product. This is one that as soon as I run out of it, I order more from Young Living. This is the Art Renewal Serum and it's a very, <clears throat> very thin kind of dewy product. I think it's great for um, dry skin, for combination skin for mature skin. Um, I, I don't know, maybe someone here with oily skin has used it. I'm not sure. You if, have to see, show her, show them. Yeah. Like, if, if you have with oily skin and you've had good results, please let me know. Uh, I love it. Oily skin. <laughs> I love it. I put in the comments. It's my favorite product too. Yeah. Awesome. That's great. So again, when I put it on my face, I just kind of pat it on my face and I put it on, you want to put it on your neck too, because our necks are in our um, um, collarbone area. This is one of the first areas to really age. I know I'm only, I'm almost 33, but I'm not, I'm not really old at all, <laughs> but I can see different, different things happening as you know, my, my age uh, grows. So I love this serum. And one of the things, one of the reasons why I got this serum was because of the beauty school. And they showed a girl with, um, they did some sort of before and after like scans of her face to see what kind of sun damage she had. And she also had a lot of redness from having rosacea and some other skin issues. And so they did a before and after of her using this consistently for six months. And it was night and day difference with helping <laughs> uh, uh, Elite get rid of a lot of the damage that she had on her skin. And so I was like, I need that because uh, when my husband and I were in Australia, um, I don't know, that was seven years ago, we hiked like a hundred miles and I was wearing sunscreen, but the sun is very different there. So I got really badly burned. My whole face turned into a scab and we had to stop hiking because it, like I could not move my face. It was one big scab from the sun. So since then, I've really been trying to recover my face from all of that intense sun damage that I had. So as soon as I saw that, I was like, thank you. Thank you, God, I need that product. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm very thankful. And do you use it once a day, Sarah? Or do you use it more than that? I use this anytime I go into the bathroom, I put it on. I'm like, ooh, it feels, it feels like a treat. That's why I go through it quickly. And I don't care. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> I, I would also throw out there that this is another product I purchased this summer, the CBD Beauty Boost that uh, from Young Living. It's a 600. I think this goes in the section. That's why I'm throwing it in there because mm -hmm. I don't think it's in the presentation. But I would I would equate it to a beauty serum okay. similar mm -hmm. um, that is a similar texture to the serum because yep. it's a little bit it's a little bit thicker. I don't know how to describe that. It's not a moisturizer, but it literally like I, I put it on just a top couple little drops. Yeah, you can see. You. It's, it's a little bit thicker serum. And I just put a little bit on and kind of like, I actually do pat it very, very lightly underneath my eyes in this crow's feet area around my mouth. And then I have this one eyebrow problem up here, this one big wrinkle. Cause I'm always doing this to my kids like that, like what, what? So that's that, that's my kid's wrinkle. So I, I use the beauty serum specifically on those places. I love it. But the Beauty Boost is amazing and, and formulated with CBD. If you have not taken a look at our CBD products, this is definitely one to get started with. 
love it. Love it. Love it. Um, it also, smells amazing. I love it. Also, I want to read some of what you guys said about what's your favorite wild skincare product already and why. So you wrote yeah. in the comments, read some of those. Yep. All right. Orange Blossom was one. Art Moisturizer mm -hmm. for dry skin. Satin Mint Scrub. Get uh, Skin gets dry and flaky and helps get rid of dead skin on my face. Oh, good. Wow, I'm seeing a lot of the Mint Scrub. CBD Beauty Serum. Awesome. Mirror Cleansing Oil. Oh, yeah. So I'll talk about that. The Mirror Cleansing Oil is great for a makeup remover. Art Toner, Art Renewal and the Bloom line are intense moisturizer, awesome. Cool, and as far as, um, so Erin, you'll look through people and then you'll announce the winner on the next question for that. Um, yeah. So also, I, already, I already picked. You already picked a winner for All that right, You wanna do that and then we'll okay. do question number three? Yeah, sounds good. Um, I had it and, oh, McKenna, McKenna Sampson is winner awesome. number two. So congrats to you. Um, again, I'll post the, the link in the, in the chat box to fill out the Google Doc. Um, yeah, thanks for your participation, everybody. Again, if you do have questions, Ange and I are both monitoring that, so we'll make sure we get those answered. And also, even on the, those of you who are watching on the Lifestyle Group, we're also, I'm also paying attention to those questions. So, Great. I'll right. ask the next, next question in like a minute or two. Okay, so uh, this is a great thing if you want to take a picture of this for, there's all different moisturizers. Um, this one is not available. Okay, the orange one's not available. The light, the Art Light moisturizer is great. Love this. It's it's very very uh, light, and I I like that. So if you have more of like a combo skin, this is really nice. Um, the Art Intensive moisturizer, love that. And I haven't tried the other two. Have you tried them? So I use the Boswellia wrinkle cream. Um, and sandalwood, I've heard people absolutely love that as well. Awesome. Um, I don't know if sandalwood is in stock. Some of somebody's going to have to give that update in the chat. Um, but uh, definitely, at the Wolfberry eye cream is another one that I use as well that I find very moisturizing mm -hmm. and specifically use underneath my eyes. But hey, now that we have those amazing concealers, I'm pretty pretty stoked about right? the savvy. So it it covers up all that. <laughs> um, I will say. Uh, for oh, yeah, drier, uh, yeah, so this is that extra part that we were talking about, the, you know, luxurious part. I love this Art Intensive Moisturizer. I want to see if oh, I can yeah. show, show you how it works. Okay, so it's, it's very, it's very thick and luxurious. So I want to show you one thing that I do that's very helpful. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard of Gua Sha. It's this oh, yeah. device. You can get this from a lot of different places. It's, it's a jade stone. And what you do, so it helps, um, it helps break up the connective tissue in your face and your neck. And so it can help rebuild collagen in your skin. So it gives a more youthful appearance, can help uh, with wrinkles and fine lines and things like that. So I do this maybe like four or five times a week. And what you do is you put, um, it helps if you actually put it under warm water first. And then you can put an oil, some type of oil on your skin, like the serum, like the Art Renewal Serum, something of that sort of texture. And then I'll also put something like more of an intensive moisturizer on my face. And I'll just show you um, what to do with this. And I don't think I'm living cells these, but I would highly recommend incorporating this into your skincare routine. There's a lot of different people on um, Instagram who you can watch do it. This girl, um, I think her Instagram is Noya, N-O-Y-A skincare. And she does a lot of videos on TikTok and on um, Instagram of how to use this. I'm not an expert, but um, I started doing it and I'm obsessed and I've been seeing like big differences. So what you do is you, Kind of hold an area of your skin and I'm just breaking up the connective tissue and you're also helping with blood flow and circulation um, so you can go in different areas of the face and it feels amazing it's like getting a massage after you get a massage you feel like oh wow I'm so relaxed we hold so much tension in our face in our jaw right and so this really helps release a lot of the tension you could also do this up the neck and down the neck. And it feels great to do it on the back 
as well. So I'd highly recommend looking on YouTube or wherever tutorials for this, but I'm obsessed with using this with the Young Living products. So Erin just put a link in the comments too with the spelling so that you guys can check that out. Awesome. Um, I love that, especially because this month we're talking all about the lymphatic system. Yep. And so what you're talking about there and breaking up that, uh, breaking up the connective tissue and getting that lymphatic system really flowing through your body here in your neck area, that that's super, super helpful. Yeah. And I've also had issues with, um, my eyes because I've really dry skin with my eyes drooping a bit. Like one of my I don't know what the issue was, but I had one eye that was drooping more than the other. And I don't know if it was, I had um, Lyme, Lyme disease like eight years ago, something like that. So I was trying to figure out what the cause was. And this was one of the reasons why I started getting this was because I wanted to help that eyelid go back up. So I started doing it really like along the right eye specifically and on my forehead um, to help kind of lift that up. And I've noticed like a pretty decent difference. Can we just point out the fact that Angie's wearing makeup and Sarah's wearing no makeup and how beautiful this woman is. Thank like, you. gosh, shout out to Thank Sarah you. for natural beauty. Thank you. And um, I feel, you know, I have a lot of empathy for people who are going through different skin issues because I had the worst eczema growing up and bled all over my body, on my face, on my neck, everywhere. And so... I'm just so thankful. I don't have any scarring and I'm really grateful for these products because I don't, I mean, along with my diet, along with hydration, along with a bunch of other stuff, I don't have those skincare issues that I had when I was a young girl with eczema and all of the stuff and uh, gut, gut issues like I had. So I'm extremely thankful. Okay. Oh, we can that. move on. <laughs> all right. Hopefully I can find this. Yay, it cool. worked. Okay, we can go to the next one. Oh, um, there was one more in here that's not mentioned, but yeah, um, rose ointment isn't necessarily a facial oh, moisturizer. I have that. But there. it's amazing. I don't think it shows up in the presentation. So no. I just wanted to make sure people knew um, the consistency of it is uh, more like, I don't know how to say it, like a paste. I don't know how to. It, it reminds me of like a Burt's Bees sort of. Yeah. Or um, the animal scents. Yeah. It's very similar to that. But with a really nice smell mm -hmm. and it's just very intensifying. Um, a lot of people find that they, like I would use this on, um, my daughter would get really chapped hands from using over the counter antibacterial uh, hand sanitizer. Um, and so I would use this on her, on her knuckles mm -hmm. to help keep them from bleeding. Uh, and things like that, because mm -hmm. it was just so nourishing. So yeah. having rose ointment on hand, um, I actually use this for like anything really Is it for my lips yeah. i love it yeah i love that oh that's good yes in place of lip balm yeah or, or some, an intensive lip balm yeah or sometimes if my eyelids are really dry too i put it on my eyelids or if i want to put my oh like oh this is another tip so if you want to brush your eyebrows up you can use this with um you know a little like comb or something so i'll put it on my eyebrows if you want your eyebrows to you know have that more like upward facing appearance you can put this on first and wow really so you don't use brow gel you can use this instead of brow gel what okay she's amazing cool. i hope everybody's taking notes okay is this so, ridiculous erin what are you gonna throw up third I'll question say, number three. yep third question and i also want to ask can i ask a question um one yep. question came in what could help with rosacea like if you were to give like three tips as to could be you know what, yeah, what do you got yeah. there so it can, on that? Skin support, remember, we're, we're going to, we have to, yeah, we can talk specifically about supporting the skin in general for oh, yeah, sorry, blemishes, sorry. things like that. We can't actually speak directly to a diagnosable oh, yeah. thing. Yeah. But, but Sarah can totally talk about skin support. But I did, I, yeah, earlier I talked about the art renewal serum being very helpful for a girl at the beauty school um, for a lot of redness and, uh, it was very, very helpful. And also lavender um, as well. I, so I, yeah, I'm going to throw out um, that in my experience in mm -hmm. using the products and being around people in this natural mm -hmm. world, I've also found a lot of people find a dairy sensitivity mm -hmm. that impacts their skin in negative mm -hmm. ways. Mm -hmm. And so I just offer that Sarah, Sarah's not kidding when she talks about nutritional and hydration uh, de decisions mm -hmm. that she's made for her body and herself. 
um, that have really made an impact. Mm -hmm. um, and I think uh, dairy can be a huge culprit. So if you haven't explored your mm -hmm. food allergies mm -hmm. um, and sensitivities, just be aware of that yeah. um, with hydration, especially when it comes to um, specific uh, skin disorders. Yes. What And, and yes. emotionally too, I think whatever we don't manage, I think about my high school years mm -hmm. and, and, my, and my junior high years of eczema and acne, mm -hmm. You know, what are we not express? you know, what's mm -hmm. getting expressed through our faces that our digestive system mm -hmm. isn't happy with, that mm -hmm. our emotional system isn't happy with. Yeah. Um, and those are, I'm not trying to oversimplify it. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying that's, that could be part of your solution. Yeah, yep, definitely a, a whole body, mind, uh, spirit solution. All right. The third question is, and I want to, I, I want to talk a little bit about what Ann uh, just touched on after this and include some supplements as awesome. well. Um, but what's one new skincare product you are excited to try? So maybe it's one thing that you learned about here, or maybe it's the gua sha or whatever. What's one thing that you're excited to uh, incorporate? Maybe I'm just glad you, I know how to say you haven't used. Gua sha. No. You know what? It's interesting because I've heard both. I've heard gua sha and I've heard gua sha from professionals both ways. So I don't know, but I love it. That's what I know. <laughs> I love that. I have, I have one of these at home. I had no idea what to do with it. Okay. So that's why I brought it to your mom's house and I was doing, she's like, I have one of those. I, I got it from you. She got it from you. Yeah. From a basket. And she's like, can you teach me how to use it? And so I did a whole session on it for like 10 minutes and she was like, I think she just wants you to do it. It was great. Yeah. It was great. <laughs> okay. I love it. All right, so. So these are some other products that we haven't necessarily hit on. Sheer Lume Brightening Cream, the cream mask. The, I did mention the Wolfberry Eye Cream, as well as, um, oh, a DIY mud mask. I wonder if there's a, a slide for that. Oh, nope. 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 Okay. So you could, the honey mask was one that you gave. Yep. The beauty mask is also available. That's I, super. Fun. I've done the mud mask before and it's really similar to the honey one, but I actually prefer the honey one. It's a lot less messy <laughs> and it has the same, like very similar results. I love it. All right. So quick skin routine. <clears throat> so take a picture of this. Um, I'm going to leave it up for like 30 seconds. This is for somebody who has, um, it's going to go through normal, dry, oily combo. So this is for people who feel like they have more of like a normal to combo sort of skin. Okay. So take a screenshot of that. Okay. Next one is oily skin. So again, a lot of it is, you know, things that we've touched on the orange blossom being really good for oily skin. It doesn't have the bloom there, but I think the bloom is great too. Dry skin. Again, a lot of the art products you're going to see on here. Well, and I think what you've modeled for us tonight too with the dry skin is it's not a one and done. It's no. not like add this moisturizer and then everything's going to be great. Like no. you're, you're, you're hydrating in the morning. You're, hi you're hydrating internally and hydrating your skin. Yeah. You're hydrating when you go into the bathroom, you're adding serum, you know, yeah. like Anytime that yep. you, you can hydrate your skin, you're doing that. Yeah. So that, I think that's an important mm -hmm. note uh, yeah. to make for dry skin. And we can go to the next one. Combination skin. There were lots of good testimonials about the charcoal bar mm -hmm. soap in there as well. Yep. Okay. Next one. Mature skin. Don't forget your neck. Don't, Don't forget the neck. Skin. Yep. Also on the hands too, because the hand, the hands are places that we age too. We don't really notice or take care of them. So my mom will always say that. Oh, she's like, I wish I would have taken care of my hands earlier. <laughs> like mom, your hands are fine. But... <laughs> I love it. Okay. okay. A couple questions. So, yeah. You yeah. Can... We'll come after this. A couple quick, quick questions. Um, yeah. That were flowing in. Uh, could these products be used for teenage boys for acne? Um, any, any tips you might offer just for teenage boys? I know you've been talking kind of body, mind, spirit, all the things, right? Digestion, emotions. What would you offer Sarah for? As you're Honest, about? Honestly, I think the, I think for any teenager who they have a hard time, even like remembering to brush their teeth. I think getting them to use like as little products as possible is great products that they'll actually use and incorporate. So charcoal bar soap would be a really easy one to use for whether it's boy or girl teenager. I think that's great. Start with that and one of the moisturizers and call it good. Um, the, the acne, um, what yeah. is that? the acne, uh, 
um, gel, the cream. Yeah, the cream. I, I'd recommend getting that using some charcoal bar soap and getting that and, and try and see, you know, see how it goes. But I think the simpler, the better for teenagers. Yeah. You yeah. And we didn't talk about that, but there is a, a spot treatment an acne spot treatment that uh, Young Living has that is over the counter, it's called that. So um, you can, uh, I think it works incredibly well. As a kiddo uh, who had acne, I got it for my kids right away because my son has some acne around hit, well, obviously mask, mask knee, right? And he also has some uh, in the T-zone. So I have that available in their shower. Like, you know, that's the other thing is the e easier access they have to that kind of stuff, the better. My daughter, my 17 year old said the other night, I don't even remember to wash my face. Well, if I put the <laughs> cleanser in the shower, I have a better, I think they have a better chance of using it while they're in there than if I'm expecting them to get into a routine. But obviously awesome. like you talked about too, Sarah, like it does become just a routine. Like your mom saying, I wish I would have known, Yeah, you know, it's just, it's those conversations yeah. and the proactive conversations. Yep. Could I, wanna, could I throw, could I throw out one thing? First? Yeah, I've got a, I've got number three winner. Our number three winner is Janet Schuler Kim. So congratulations to you. <laughs> Yay. Um, again, I'll, pu I'll put the link in there in a second. Um, I was going to say, you know, Angie, I know you and Andy um, definitely had more. You, you guys were had way more acne than I did in high school. And, you know, I remember I remember, being, you know, as the youngest child, I was like, just like, ooh, is there any way I can avoid that stress? you know, and um, I stopped, like, I remember, like, as a sophomore or junior in high school, I was like, all right, I'm going to try chocolate. I think I read something about, like, chocolate, if too much consumption of chocolate, it was probably the sugar, right, that was in all of the chocolate I was eating, and so I really started to, like, and I, my acne, I, yes, I had a little bit, but not to the extent you, you all did, um, and I would, like, gave, I remember, like, senior year, I gave up um, a lot of junk chips, you know, like a bunch of junker, like more junky food. And I was like being more religious kind of for my sports career, but like it also, I feel like helps my skin. I'm just throwing that out there as a, as a, I remember it directly like just being like, I, I would rather not do the whole Accutane thing that my sister and brothers yeah. went through. Yeah. And so I gave up chocolate. I always noticed stress. Like I would get stressed like right before a, a, a dance or I'd get a pimple like right before a homecoming dance or some dance. and I'd be like, oh, so this is my mind. I'm like, this is I'm stressed. Like I'm nervous. <laughs> and then I'd get pimples. Well, Aaron, we were also talking about the other night with my daughter, who's a vegetarian. Like her brother has um, her brother has skin issues that that I had as a kid. Not not to the extent I did, but he has some skin issues that she doesn't have. And I wonder I, I do wonder how much diet plays into that now she doesn't eat incredibly healthy vegetarian diet but she doesn't eat meat and she's more cautious about what she consumes um you know in terms of the cafeteria food or processed mm -hmm. foods or um, fast food items mm -hmm. and things like that she'd prefer to eat at home but um and so maybe that has impacted mm -hmm. her skin as opposed to my kiddo who you know can walk to sonic and have a burger whenever he wants or whatever so mm -hmm. um um, anyway, I, I, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I would like to say there was, there's an easy button, but getting a teenager to not eat junk food, is, it's not the easy button. I'm also going to offer that as well. Right. Uh, it's not, it's hard for me as a, as a, as a 40 something year old to give up a certain wine and chocolate. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So, yeah. Vices. Anyway. Yeah. So speaking of, I think uh, a, there's a couple of supplements that are really helpful. Um, but before I go, so these are the two supplements I'll just tell you that, that are great for, um, skin, hair, nails. This is sulfurzyme. Um, you can take, it says take two capsules, two times daily. Um, I love this stuff. I know people that have experienced a good amount of hair growth from taking this product on a consistent basis, but it's really great for just overall skin, hair, nail growth. Um, Detoxime um, can help with different nutrient absorption things. If you're not able to absorb nutrients, then it's not like, even if you are eating healthy, then your skin and your body isn't really getting the benefits of all that healthy food because you maybe have an, uh, an absorption problem or something like that. So I love Detoxime specifically. That works really well for me. I do want to say the, the food piece and the hydration piece is just huge. I was, uh, I had, was diagnosed with Crohn's disease at 11 years old. 
And a lot of people, including me, who have Crohn's disease or different autoimmune issues, um, also experience skin issues. And it kind of goes hand in hand. And I wish growing up that I it came from an Italian American household. So we ate pasta pretty much every night. Um, and I will say we didn't really eat processed food besides pasta. Like we had a lot of fresh um, food from the garden and really amazing vegetables, but we still ate pasta every night. My mom used a lot of heavy cream, dairy in different um, dishes that she would make. And since I don't, I haven't had any of that stuff since I've been 18 years old, I've been a vegetarian, pretty much gave up dairy, we eat it here and there. I have rarely had any of those issues with my gut or my skin. And I just wish that my parents had known that then so that I didn't have to deal with skin and gut issues from the time that I was, I mean, I dealt with skin issues from the time I was a baby up until, you know, forever, up until I was 17, 18 years old. So I think diet is huge and drinking water is huge. Um, hydration, you know, try for eight, eight glasses a day. Uh, I have those quart mason jars and I make sure I drink four of those a day. So it's the first thing I drink in the morning with a fresh squeezed lemon. And I, if I make sure to get four and it makes a huge difference. So yay. Okay. And I think, oh, um, yeah. Anything else we left on the table? A um, little bit about Savvy? Do you want to talk a little bit about Savvy or oils particularly? Yeah, I'll just share with you a couple of the other like oils that I use. Um, tea tree. A lot of times I'll use this if, you know, I have my period coming and I see like, oh, well, spot popped up there. Put some tea tree on. Love that. I just had a friend tell me today. Yeah. She, her family eats mostly gluten free and she notices her face breaks out when she has gluten. Yeah, that's another piece. So I'm also ma like mainly gluten free now too, because yeah. I will notice my skin will flare up if I eat that. I think I just have a sensitivity. Yeah. Um, frankincense is great for fine lines. This is one that I'll keep in my bathroom or by my bedside and I'll put near my eyes. A lot of times you want to use this with a carrier oil, especially if you're using it like I just did over here could be, could be a little sensitive. Um, purification. This is a great one that um, my friend Christina told me about for circulation. So for like under eyes, if you just look super puffy in the morning, this is a great one to apply around your eyes. So like this for circulation to just wake up the eyes and make them look a little more alive. What? I never heard that one before. Yeah, that one was just like, woo. Cool. Okay, question four. Question four. Um, I then, kind of already- about the next oil, the last oil. Um, the last oil is sacred frankincense, pretty similar to regular frankincense, different smells. Yes. What else? It's just a different, uh, a different plant species of frankincense. Uh, Boswellia carteri is our regular frankincense. Boswellia sacra is our sacred frankincense. Um, Sarah's going to give our fourth question and then I'm going to tell it, just kind of wrap things up a little bit. Um, I kind of already said this in the last question. The last, the third question was what what's one new skincare product you're excited to try? Um, but this last question is what's one new thing that you learned from this class? It could be anything. <laughs> yeah, we've kind, of, we've kind of covered the waterfront on all the yeah. topics tonight. Um, I, as, as we're wrapping up, I don't know how many of you are um, Young Living members, how many people invited brand new folks to this call tonight. Um, we're on a mission in Living Well Now to help people um, just from the average family, realize better health, better wealth, um, better opportunities. Um, and so getting some of this information, getting connected to this information is really, really key. We extend this learning in our um, exclusive members only groups. We have a Living Well Now lifestyle group as well as one for business builders. Um, that we uh, that we only add members into. Um, we're really, really excited uh, to uh, show you all the things that you can choose, even though there's not in particular a premium starter kit that has all these beauty products in it currently. You absolutely know that that's coming, that we'll be able to build uh, customizable kits. So if uh, you are interested in this beauty line and you want other people to know about the beauty products from Young Living, you'll be able to put a kit together 
together and show people how easy it is to get started with a beauty kit. But for tonight, if you love what you've heard, you may decide that you want to become a wholesale member by purchasing um, our premium starter kit with Niksha Red or with the oils, um, some of which we've talked about tonight, specifically frankincense. And then you can add in any of these beauty products that we've discussed to that first order for, um, for your use immediately at home and begin to uh, adopt a more healthy lifestyle, ditching out the products that may have been harming you more than they've been helping you and really substituting in more helpful products um, that uh, are clean and naturally minded um, and will help uh, and maybe help balance, restore balance to your skin again. So lots of, um, the person who invited you to the call tonight is the one who can help you get started with that wholesale membership. If you're a current member, we're so glad that you're here. These are products, most of which you can order on your monthly wellness box, your subscribe and save. That's a great way for you to consistently get uh, and replenish products. Like Sarah was saying, the serum is something that she adds quite often um, to her, uh, to her uh, order so that she always has that on hand. These are products that you don't want to run out of. So have them on a subscribe and save program even monthly. Um, that Sulfurzyme bottle lasts me, uh, I only buy probably two or three of those in a year's time. You can add those supplements to your orders as well. So the very, very best thing you can do is talk to the person who invited you to the call tonight and mm -hmm. let them know that you are ready to become a wholesale member and then they will help set you up with the products that you loved the most um, that will make the biggest difference in your life. Awesome. And we're going to pick a fourth winner. I'm seeing some more questions flow in. So we could probably answer those on Facebook, right? Yes. We'll answer okay. some of those questions on Facebook. I will say a couple of those that I see right there. Um, the link for the Savvy Makeup class is on our YouTube channel under Living Well Now um, channel on YouTube. So that's super easy to go and find. You can search our channel for the Savvy I'll class. Yeah. And Aaron will I'll post, post it, it again. I'll post it as well, um, yeah. I also love, uh, Charlene asked about dark circles under eyes. Sarah gave some great tips on that purification, I think, as well as um, I love the Wolfberry eye cream. Mm -hmm. um, if you like for getting rid of them all the time. I think a, a lot of it has to do with hydration and circulation. So this mm -hmm. and drinking a lot of water and, getting, and getting gut health right, getting gut health situated. Those are really the biggest contributors to dark under eye circles. And again, I cannot say enough about the concealer. <laughs> Young Living. Concealer is great like too. Before, before we had the concealer from Young Living, I was literally using the diaper rash cream because it was a safe product that I could put on my face. Um, and it's lightener, it's kind of a light lightning. Uh, it's white obviously, and it acts as, it puts a barrier, mm -hmm. but I was using that with uh, the Savvy powder to create a concealer. So now I have that easy, like medium concealer. one I yep. use, yep. Um, super easy to, to use that as well. So cool. thank you so much for coming. Our, four, fourth, our winner. fourth winner is Maria Naranjo. Hi so Maria. Congratulations, congratulations Hi. to you Maria. You're the winner. Awesome. Sarai posted a great video to or a great photo today of her skin natural. Uh, we're always glad to see your naturally beautiful skin. Um, super, super fun. And we're really, really glad that you guys joined us tonight. Sarah, thanks for your yeah. tips. Thanks for your Thank insights. You. I think a lot of people are going to walk away with uh, some incredible insights uh, that they can use right away. And there's a business class happening in literally five minutes. So In this room. In this room. So, so you don't have to go anywhere. So stay on. Just keep yourselves muted. And it's going to start in five minutes. And Aaron is going to be teaching him, right? Yeah. And you a little bit, I don't know. I'm gonna, yeah, I'll just pop be, over to yeah. the other room. Awesome. All right, <laughs> bye everyone. Stay on if you want to stay for the business class. <laughs> Thanks, Sarah.